Welcome to the Dawn of War tutorial. By listening to me and reading the text that appears in this message box, you will learn how to play a skirmish game. The mouse is your primary method of surveying the battle, selecting units and structures, and issuing orders. The mouse controls the camera. The camera represents your current view of the battlefield. To pan the camera, simply move the mouse pointer to the edge of the screen. Do this now. To rotate the camera to gain a different view of the battle, press the Alt key and move your mouse. Do this now. You can zoom in on something to see it up close by spinning the mouse wheel forward. Do this now. To return the camera to the game's default view, press the backspace key on your keyboard. Do this now. Excellent! You've returned the camera to its default playing view. By panning, rotating, and zooming the camera in and out, you can gain whatever view of the battlefield you wish. The diamond-shaped display in the lower left corner of your screen is your mini-map. You can use the mini-map to see where your units and structures are located, to quickly scan the battlefield, to issue quick orders, and so forth. The mini-map displays the locations of all strategic points in the battlefield, as well as other items of strategic importance. Fog of War prevents you from seeing things where you do not have a presence. As you move units into an area, the Fog of War will be lifted. Now we will bring up the Objective menu. The Objective menu provides you a list of all the primary and secondary objectives assigned to you by the game. Mouse over the objectives to get a description of each. Excellent! Anytime you want to refer to the Objective menu, click on the OBJ button on the upper menu bar. To select a unit or structure, simply click on it with the left mouse button. Go to your base and select the Ecclesiarchal Chapel. Congratulations! You have just learned how to select units and structures in the game. Select your Ecclesiarchal Chapel and look for the missionary icon located in the lower right corner of the screen. Click this button now. Take note of the small bar that is gradually filling up. This progress bar gives you an indication of how close something is to being ready. Excellent! You now have a missionary. Strategic points are located in areas of high strategic value on the battlefield. Capturing and controlling these strategic points in the battlefield is how you increase your requisition resource. Order the missionary to capture a strategic point by right-clicking on the point. Capturing a strategic point takes time. Do not move the capturing squad away from the strategic point until the progress bar is full. Otherwise, you will not take control of the strategic point. Excellent. The point is ours. You must continue to capture strategic points to get more requisition resource, which allows you to build more units and structures. Select your Ecclesiarchal Chapel and build an Ecclesiarchal Servitor. Ecclesiarchal Servitors are required to build additional structures. These Servitors are always available from the Ecclesiarchal Chapel. Inspire me. The Ecclesiarchal Servitor has arrived. Ecclesiarchal Servitors are the builder unit for the Sisters of Battle. Anytime you wish to build a new structure, you must use an Ecclesiarchal Servitor. Select the Servitor and click on the Build icon in the lower right area of the screen. This brings up the icons of all the structures the Servitor can construct. Click on the Listening Post icon and build it on the captured strategic point. The Listening Post fortifies your hold of a strategic point, increasing your requisition rate at the same time. Protected from enemy retaliation. You should continue to build listening posts on all your captured strategic points. Some structures, vehicles, and research require power to function. Building a plasma generator will supply you with the power you need to keep your force going. Select your servitor and build a plasma generator. The more plasma generators you have, the faster you will build up the power resource. You now have power. Plasma generators will continue to produce power at a constant rate. Note that there is a limit to how many plasma generators can be built per Ecclesiarchal Chapel. Notice the white ring that appears around some of your structures when you are deciding where to build. 
This is the control zone. Most structures can only be constructed within the control zone, while others, like listening posts, can be built at other locations. When you are trying to place a new structure, its color changes from red to green as you move it around. A green color indicates that the structure can be placed at that location so that building will begin. Select your ecclesiarchal servitor and build an Adepta Sororitas convent. I serve the sisterhood. The convent is the structure where you build most Sisters of Battle infantry units, as well as their commander unit, the Canons. Grant us dominion of this place in thy name. I serve. I remain pure. Be it your will. Build for the call confirmed. Excellent. The Adeptus Auroritas Convent is finished. Select your Adeptus Auroritas Convent and build a Battle Sister Squad. These fierce troops are the basic infantry of the Sisters of Battle. Although not as durable as their Space Marine allies, they are versatile and equipped with a variety of abilities and weapons that let them handle nearly any task. Emperor, inspire me! Excellent. You have built a battle system squad. Now we should focus on bringing our squads to full strength by reinforcing them. Reinforcing is the act of calling in additional troops to bring your squad to maximum combat effectiveness. Select a battle sister squad. Click the Reinforce Squad button to add one new unit to your squad. You can reinforce during battle in the event that a sister falls to the enemy. You can click the Reinforce Squad button multiple times to bring the squad to full strength. Congratulations! You have reinforced your battle sister squad. All units and vehicles have a health rating. Health is represented by the small green bar underneath each squad or vehicle. If you lose any units during a fight, you can reinforce to bring your squad back to full strength. Make sure you watch the strength of your squad in battle. Reinforce often to make sure your squads are as effective as possible. Remember that when a unit with a heavy weapon dies, you lose that weapon from the squad. You will need to upgrade the squad to they get the heavy weapon back. Triumph. Now, select a squad and take note of the small blue bar just over the squad's health bar. This blue bar represents the morale of your squad. Morale represents the effectiveness of your units in battle. Think of it as a combination of mental focus, courage, and the willingness to fight. Various weapons in the game inflict morale damage as well as health damage. When your squad takes morale damage, the small blue bar will decrease, just like the health bar does. When a squad's morale becomes too low, the squad will break. A broken squad has lost the will to fight, and its combat effectiveness is drastically reduced. You do not lose control of broken squads. It is your choice whether to leave them in battle or retreat to gather strength. Morale can be an effective tool against your enemies. Also, remember that certain units have abilities that can increase the morale of a squad. By destroying your enemy's morale, you cause them to lose combat effectiveness, making them much easier to kill. In this way, a small but properly armed squad can destroy an enemy force of superior numbers. Remember, tactics and strategy can turn the tide of almost any battle. Make sure you use this knowledge to achieve victory on the battlefield. To increase the number of squads you can field as the Sisters of Battle, you need to research squad cap upgrades from your Adeptus Auroritas convent. Faith is a third resource type that is unique to the Sisters of Battle. Your current level of Faith is displayed slightly below your Requisition and Power resources. Faith is used for special God abilities Emperor. called Acts of we Faith. These are much more powerful than normal I abilities and can easily turn the tide of a battle. The Use them wisely. Yes. Holy icons built on top of listening posts increase your maximum Faith. Select a listening post now and upgrade it by clicking the Holy Icon button. Holy icons are vital to the Sisters' war effort. Guard them with your life. The power of your army depends upon keeping them from falling to the enemy. Excellent. Your listening post is now adorned with the Holy Icon, a blessed symbol of the Emperor's favor. Now that you have a Holy Icon, you have unlocked the first tier of your Faith Meter. Located in the upper left corner of the screen, the Faith Meter shows your current stores of this important resource. Note that most of the meter is still blocked off. By building more Holy Icons, you will All unlock more potential perish. Faith, which will in turn allow you to call upon ever more powerful Acts of Faith. So far, however, you have only unlocked the potential of Faith. To generate faith, you must make faithful units. The point is ours. One faithful unit is the Canonus, the primary hero of the Sisters of Battle. Select the Adeptus Auroritas Convent and build a Canonus now. Place. Burning with righteous vengeance, the Canonus lays waste to her enemies with powerful special abilities and punishing melee attacks. I humbly await orders. Instructions received. Walk in darkness.
from the lighting and the tempest, Emperor deliver us. Congratulations! You have finished building the campus. Your faith resource will now increase at a faster rate. Select your ecclesiarchal servitor and build a pristine sanctuary now. You must build a pristine sanctuary in order to access weapon upgrades. Squads can be equipped with a variety of weaponry, allowing you to prepare them against different enemy types. It is a judgment. We go! We go! Our Emperor gives us strength. It is a judgment. We know our place. I humbly await orders. To specifications. Excellent. Pristine Sanctuary is complete. The Pristine Sanctuary unlocks access to heavy weaponry for your infantry squads. Upgrade a Battle Sister squad with Flamer. Select your Battle Sister squad and click the Upgrade Flamer icon to upgrade a squad member. Initially, you can only upgrade a few units of each squad with heavy weapons. By doing further research at the Pristine Sanctuary, you can unlock the capability to upgrade more. Excellent. You have upgraded your Battle Sister squad. You can upgrade your squads anywhere in the battlefield to weapons that are well suited to counter your enemies. Notice that a flamer appears on one of your squad members' hands. This procedure can be performed with any of the available Come weapon upgrades. Sisters. It is time to upgrade the Ecclesiarchal Chapel, your headquarters. By researching the Ecclesiarchal Cathedral upgrade, you will gain access to a whole new array of weaponry, units, and powers. Select the chapel and click the Upgrade to Ecclesiarchal Cathedral icon. Thou shalt not. I shall. It is a judgment. I am consecrated to the Imperium. Devotion never falter. Strike you down, thou gives us strength. We have our target. It is a judgment. Excellent, you have completed the Ecclesiarchal Cathedral. Some squads, like Battle Sister squads, can add a leader. Leaders are highly skilled warriors that can be added to some Sisters of Battle squads. You will need strong leaders if you are to defeat your enemies. Select a Battle Sister squad and click the Add Leader Veteran Superior icon. Veteran Superiors are valiant leaders that greatly increase your squad's capabilities. Excellent! Your Veteran Superior has arrived. Note that your leaders are part of the squad and cannot leave. Some types of terrain can provide your squads with protection from enemy fire. This is called cover. Select one of your infantry squads and move it into cover. The area of cover has been identified with a marker known as a ping. It is visible on the mini-map as well as in the world. Cover is useful in that it can provide your squads with additional defensive bonuses, which makes them harder to kill. It's easy to see cover in the terrain. Just look for your mouse cursor to change as you pass over large bombed-out craters in cities, or patches of thick foliage in jungles. You'll notice that when you move your squads into an area of cover, a small cover icon will appear above them. This indicates that they are receiving a defensive bonus. Excellent. Your squad is in cover. Units in cover are harder targets to shoot and take less damage from ranged attacks because of this. Use cover well to gain tactical advantages over your enemy. Excellent. You have captured three strategic points and built listening posts on them. Taking and holding strategic points is key to defeating your enemies. You can capture critical locations just like strategic points. In some multiplayer games, capturing and holding one or more of these critical locations can win you the game. 
You also get requisition from any critical locations you control. Use a squad to capture a critical location. Critical locations are points in the map that represent locations of critical strategic importance. Excellent, you have captured a critical location. Note that critical locations cannot have listening posts built on them. You must find other ways to hold them. Holding relics gives you access to your army's best units and vehicles. Hold on to them to ensure you have access to your best technology. Use a squad to capture a relic. Relics are sacred points of great value. Excellent, you have captured a relic. You can build listening posts to fortify captured relics. You can also capture your opponent's relics to deny them access to their best units and technology. Select your ecclesiarchal servitor and build a manufactory. I serve to specification. Just like the convent is used to build infantry units, the manufactorum is used to build vehicles. Vehicles are tough and nearly impervious to the attacks of non-upgraded infantry. They are a fundamental part of your army and can carry powerful support weapons. All Sisters of Battle vehicles come from this building. Note that your field base can only support a finite number of vehicles. This limit is known as the vehicle cap. Once you have reached your maximum, you cannot build any more vehicles. You can increase your vehicle cap by researching the appropriate upgrade at your Manufactorum, much like the squad cap. Select your Manufactorum and build an Immolator tank. Immolators are brutal war machines that purge their enemies with white-hot flames. I serve. I serve. Many wars have we served the Emperor. Few will Congratulations! You've completed the learning session of the tutorial. It is time to put what you have learned to work. Take control of the force and build up your strength so you can crush your enemy. Use infantry squads to capture strategic points and servitors to build listening posts on them. Continue to build structures and carry out research that will increase your effectiveness in battle. Build additional squads and vehicles. Make sure to upgrade your squad cap and vehicle cap when necessary. Take this battlefield, and the next, and the next after that. The fight will never end until your enemies are crushed. Father Witchcraft, heresy, and mutation! Our faith is unyielding. I am a servant to the Emperor. All but the faithful perish. Have no I pity. remain pure. Celestial Squad, ready for battle! To the hymns of the Ecclesiarchy! Many aspire, few attain. 
We have excelled at battle! Remember, holding strategic points increases your requisition resource. Without sufficient requisition resource, you cannot build the force you need to ensure your dominance of the battlefield. Never shall we tremble. Many aspire, few attain. I am a servant to the Emperor. Thou shalt not, I shall. Behold, the Immolator! It is a judgment. In his name we bring fiery retribution. Yep. We are servants of the God Emperor. It will be ours. Many aspire. Few attain. Our Emperor gives us strength. We have our target! Sworn ever to your service when at peace and when at war. We have excelled at battle! Fulfill our ranks. The best fulfill our ranks. Witchcraft, heresy, and mutation. I am consecrated to the Imperium. I submit. I have Victory has begun. Be it I serve will. the sisterhood. I serve. Build protocol. We command confirm. dread and awe! It is a judgment. The point is Victory ours. countdown has begun. Never shall we tremble. Inspire me! Witchcraft, heresy, and mutation! We have taken the target! The best fulfill our ranks! I serve. I am equipped for that. To the hymns of the Ecclesiarchy! Thou shalt not. I shall. Before us, never shall we tremble. Foes and allies fear us alike. We cannot afford mercy. We purge with righteous zeal. Six minutes until take and hold victory. I am consecrated to the Imperium. Thou shalt not. I shall. Foes and allies fear us alike. We cannot afford mercy. Our father and guardian. Six minutes until control area victor one is bombed. We 
are servants of the God Emperor. We Five minutes until take and hold victory. Our Emperor gives us strength. My flavor is Many aspire, few attain. Without purity. Five minutes until control area victory. From Four minutes until taken hold victory. We command bread and awe! We command bread and awe! We cannot afford mercy! Smite the enemy! Do not oppose the Emperor's will. I serve the Emperor! until control area victory. All but the faithful perish. No mercy! Show no mercy! The of innocence them utterly! Three minutes until they can hold victory. 